I'm going to put some videotape together for this uh, project. But if you look in here, I'm trying to focus. I don't know if I can get this close enough or not. But I think uh, as you look at this barrel, you can see... Let me get it out. This is the top of the barrel where the grub screws hold it in place. So if I flip it over, there's actually a hole. Can you see that? And there's a hole in the bin. That should be the transfer port, I believe. And as I look inside the barrel where that transfer port was machined through, you can see the edges were, it looks like that was done after the barrel was rifled. And it's rough, and that's what's nicking up the pellet. So in addition to recrowning this area, recrowning in here, I'm also going to use this uh, valve uh, grinding compound on a bore mop and do the inside of the barrel to see if I can eliminate those uh, little tabs of metal sticking down into the barrel. I'm, I'm confident that's what the issue is now, that I can see it. So I don't think I can really get any video of that process. I don't think that would be very exciting anyway. So this might be a very short standalone video. Um, I've removed the gasket, <clears throat> or excuse me, O-ring where the barrel meets, and I had to take my screws back. I originally purchased a number 10 brass screw, but the head was too big. Um, a number six seems to be about ideal. Let me see if I can put this up here and hold it. And then, so you can see as that goes in there, that's just going to move around in there with the compound on it to recut it. All right, so there are videos on how to recrown a barrel using a brass screw. I watched one, that's how I'm doing this. I'm not gonna make a video of how to do it because it's already there for you to check out. But uh, hopefully uh, I'll be back with you at some point to show what happened and maybe we'll have some more accurate groups. Thanks. And always check the descriptions for stuff because I know I make mistakes. I'm just rambling and uh, I probably said something backwards or something. But uh, thank you. See you next time.